to this Yarndale vlog. Um, I am at the Old Swan Hotel in Harrogate, which I've been told is close to Skipton where Yarndale is held. In just two days, uh, today's Thursday, Thursday evening, and um, on Saturday and Sunday I will be attending Yarndale uh, a Fiber Festival. Uh, which is really exciting because I've never been to a fiber festival in the UK and so I've just arrived in the hotel room at it's it's huge I have my couch here and uh, there's a bed and there there is even a towel swan on the bed that's when you know you've got the right hotel <laughs> I suppose it's called the old swan as well so anyway uh, Scapius have um, um, invited us to Yarndale, um, us meaning the Scapius bloggers. So we're here with um, 14 bloggers, I think, um, and, and the Scapius team, of course. And we arrived today, uh, the plane landed at 5, and then uh, I think we arrived at the hotel at around 8. And we just had dinner and it was amazing and it was so great to see everyone again and um, yeah so tomorrow we'll be having our regular bloggers day uh, which is uh, when we have a big meeting and uh, we get to know about all the cool fun secret stuff coming up uh, which is always really really fun but really hard to keep a secret um, and after that we will be heading to Yarndale so a lot of uh, fun things coming up and I hope that I will be able to shoot a lot of footage for you guys usually at craft fairs I just film with my phone and I'm not really uh, having my camera around but I will make the effort and do that this weekend so fingers crossed uh, I won't be able to film much tomorrow because I figure that everybody will may be working on secret projects so I'm not sure but I'll do my best okay it's been a long day so I'm gonna take a good night's sleep and I'll see y'all tomorrow Bye. so it's the next day it's Friday now and we're really at Skippy's Blogger Space right now and look at this venue oh my goodness so yes, it's beautiful here and we have just had our little meeting, well we're, we'll, we're still in the middle of the meeting but it's the coffee break now and let me show you the room. I've been assured there's no secret stuff but if I accidentally film some secret stuff I may have to cut it out. So, spot anyone yet?
situation, ready? Jumping, jumping apparently. Yes, yes. No, one, two, three, jump. Okay. Matt, squeeze in. Are you ready? One, two, three, jump. Okay. that they've made for this year. So every year they um, ask people to make stuff and the first year it was the bunting that you see here and after that I believe it was mandalas and there's also a bunch of poppies right here and this year they're calling it the kaleidoscope of butterflies. See all the pretty butterflies. And they all have names. Oh look, there's one from the Netherlands. Hi! Nottinghamshire. It's so pretty. A lot of people, uh, but we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fantastic. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just so excited that I'm finally meeting you. Yes. And she had naturally dyed this. <laughs> and this. Is, this you is, made this, right? Yeah, all of this. That, all of this? Yeah. This wow. My Nikki has been weaving her butt off. Yeah. Look at this. On the Yarndale stand. stand. Yes, right. Yeah. So we decided to get it. It's not just my idea. <laughs> Actually, it was, but she went along. And yeah. uh, what I do in Yevil is I work together with a lot of makers that make uh, different kinds of notions and accessories for yes. uh, crafty and handy people. Yeah. And usually with the, an idea of uh, making it sustainable. And that really matched with what Saskia is doing. Yes, and so that's it a is. really good match. She does really nice things with Dutch breeds. Absolutely. I really like that. Yeah. So we're all about Dutch design and a little bit of Berlin because you always need a little bit mm -hmm. of Berlin. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, um, with Hanna Lisa so Hafrakam. Hanna Lisa Hafrakam's bags are here. We actually have a special edition for the show. If you want <gasps> really? To see it, I have to check it out. Yes. So this is our special edition. Mm. We have the Yabo. Signi uh, signature color. Oh. And then Saskia from Ovis etc. did this one. Yes. So these Amazing. two together you can get a 10% discount during uh, Yarndale. Yeah. And it's really lovely in different sizes. Yeah. And we wow. have our bullet journal. Oh, yes. Uh, yarn stitch dimensions. So you can design oh, yeah. your stitches. Our pride and joy. Our yes, Hanks how to hack now do. Yes. Yeah. They are doing exceptionally well. And Good. lots of leather needle cases. Yeah. So it's great. Very nice yes. stand. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Love it. Okay. So you know what to do. Come to Yawol in Rotterdam. Or on a on a craft fair yeah, or wherever. We but serve really good coffee too here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, Man met Bril. Or Man met. Very good. Yes. Man met Bril. Ma niet Man met Hond. Nee. <laughs> so it's the second day at Yarndale and we are completely macro from yesterday, but uh, we still have half of the market to see. And we're at Moti and the Squid. I'm so excited. Such great yards. video. This is a very unusual video for me, so I'm kind of not sure where to start, so I'll start at the beginning. My name is Carmen and you can find me on Instagram as newleafdesigns.nl and also on my website newleafdesigns.nl. I'm a crochet and knitwear designer and last weekend I went to Yarndale in the UK in Skipton with the Scapius bloggers team. Uh, so Scapius, which is a Dutch yarn brand, uh, went to Yarndale with their amazing stand. 
and invited all of their bloggers, which is me and 15 others, to be at the stand, um, which was super fun. And we had our uh, bloggers days before the fair, um, which was amazing. And we always get pampered and we hear about a lot of new yarn. And yes, it was just, amazing and um, so on Saturday and on Sunday we went to Yarndale it was it was just so overwhelming and um, as you may know I shopped a lot so <laughs> I didn't really have time to record much that Sunday Momo is here next to me um, the light is doing really weird things today I hope you can see me all right and then it doesn't uh, change too much Momo, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so on Saturday I was at the stand, at the Scapey stand in the morning from, well we got there earlier but the, the fair starts at 10 and then I was at the stand until 1pm and after that I got to browse so uh, that's where you saw all the footage from and on the uh, Sunday I was at the stand in the afternoon so I got to browse the marketplace in the morning and it was it was so overwhelming because it was huge it was it was much bigger than I have thought and so so many stands and I had I did come prepared and <laughs> the other bloggers can vouch for that but um, yes I had I had planned a document I had a Yarndale document with the entire floor plan and I had um, colored in which stands I really really wanted to see um, and of course I had the list of stand holders um, but I don't know if if everybody was on that list because it was so surprising and uh, I admit I didn't know a lot of the stand holders so um, when looking at the stand holder list, I didn't expect there to be so many indie dyers, and there were. It it was amazing. There were so many um, self-employed uh, people there, and it was so great to see. Um, of course, I work with a commercial yarn company, um, which I love, and they are able to produce. Uh, a consistent quality of yarn but seeing so many self-employed people there was really kind of reassuring and empowering because I do want to be self-employed myself and uh, so it was really um, it was really good to see a lot of self-employed people there uh, so, sorry I'm out of breath I just, the doorbell rang and I had to run downstairs. <sighs> okay. And I had a talk with a lot of the shopkeepers and stand holders and all of them were so, so positive. And it's so good to hear that more money is flowing into the craft industry. And that may sound really I don't know like it's not that money is the most important thing thing but um, it it is really really good to hear that people are in, willing to invest more money into their craft uh, because that is really what helps independent designers like me and independent hand dyers like there were on, um, on the craft fair it really helps them stay in business and to be able to grow their business so it was it was just such a feel-good such a feel-good craft fair and um, yes so let's get to it I'm gonna show you my yarn and it's is there and I've placed it in a box really and I think it's really pretty so it kind of breaks my heart to <laughs> to get them out again but I will show you so first, of course, is the Skippy's yarn I got to take home. That was really, really generous of them. Um, I have already planned projects with these doughs, so 
I feel good about it. This is one of the yarns that people were ooing and aahing over at the stand. Scapius Whirl. And this is the colorway Sea Breeze Tees. And it's just so, so perfect. It goes from a really, really light uh, blue to a gray to a minty green to a kind of sea green and then to a dark sea green or maybe a dark teal or blue. So perfect. It's color wing number uh, 7A1. Um, yes. Oh, it's just perfect. And I am planning a project with this for early 2019. A free pattern. And my patrons will already know a bit more about this because for my patrons, I um, include little sneak peeks into my Patreon feed and I discuss uh, a lot of my designs in depth and I go through my designing process and because I always found that really interesting. So I hope my patrons will find that interesting as well. So you guys will already know what I'll be making with this, but for the rest of you, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> of course, if you want a sneak peek, you can just go ahead to my Patreon page. And for the designing sneak peeks, you only need to subscribe at the $2 a month level. So that is like a cup of tea a month. I would say a cup of coffee a month. A lot of creators say that, oh, you can support me for a cup of coffee a month. But I don't drink coffee, so I say a cup of tea. <laughs> or actually, I think I say a can of soda. I love soda, yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, designing sneak peeks on my Patreon page. And the rest of you will have to wait a little bit longer. But uh, this is just amazing. Every color of world I just want to have. Yeah, so uh, for this design, I'm also planning to um, have a couple of testers um, make um, make the same pattern in a few different colorways. Just, you know, because every Scapey's world looks so different and it could just give a whole different feel to the design. So I really want to showcase that. So that will be coming up. And of course, I brought some Scapey's Namaste home with me. Uh, Scapey's Namaste is the um, newest yarn right now in the Scapey's range. It's a, I don't know if it's chunky or bulky, I don't know. But it is made for 8mm needles. I have knit a swatch on 8mm needles and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, so it will really keep you warm. And I am planning to make a hat for my boyfriend. So see, this is kind of a brick red color. I don't know if you see it better in the light or outside of the light, but it's a beautiful brick red. And this is a kind of a jeans blue really pretty. Uh, so I hope this will combine well. And I also have a little bit left, well I have a lot left, of a white Namaste that I got uh, as a sample ball earlier. I think that would be nice. Hmm, yes. So I'll be making a hat for my boyfriend. Probably knit. Yes, probably knit. Yeah. So, really excited about that. A lot of people liked the, the Namaste yarn. Oh, and I haven't told you yet. Uh, so, the Namaste is, um, the tagline is, Craft is the new yoga. And I really do feel like crafting is yoga. Um, I mean, in the same way that it is very relaxing. 
and the, the colorways for the Escapees Namaste have all been named after yoga positions. So this is the crane, the white one, and the denim one is called Upward Bow, and the brick red is called Bridge. I don't know any of those. <laughs> I don't do yoga, but I do knit, so there you go. See your tail right there. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. She's sitting on my yarn and purring, obviously. I know my yarn is nice, Momo. Momo is misbehaving. Momo. Yeah. <laughs> Feel like this is better. Let's go with it. Okay, so the first thing I bought at Yarndale was, of course, some Yarndale, some Yarndale merchandise. And this is, I can't hold it too close. I may have to get the camera closer to me. Okay, so this is the Yarndale Sheep from 2018, from this year. It's so cute. It's really where this light, okay, I need to learn how to work with it, this trick of the light. Okay, and this is the Yarndale sheep of last year. So as I can hold it closer, I'm gonna zoom in. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Can you see? So it's a granny square sheep. I believe it was also called the granny sheep. So cute. It's a pin. It was only two pounds. So, of course, I had to get that one. Oops. <laughs> and it was the last pin of this sheep that I saw, so I had to grab it. So cute. And I'm actually going to give the 2018 Yarndale zipper pouch to my mom as a um, project bag. She has no project bags yet. Only big tote bags, but not really zippered pouches yet, so I'm going to give that to her. Okay, what next? I have pulled the whole um, Yarndale stash here on my left side. So, okay, just start at the top. Um, this lovely little cloud is from Siobhan's Crafts. And um, I think I know, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly because I think it's an Irish name and those aren't really straightforward <laughs> to pronounce. Oh, but I loved Siobhan's stand and she and her friend, I think, were, they were so, so adorable. So Siobhan had this really cute dress on and really cute printed tights and she had glitter eyeliner and I don't even think she had colored hair no she had like really tight curls so cute and oh, yes so cute um, and she had this utility belt with a lot of pouches and she would have her you know her uh, money in there or whatever so I did want to take a selfie with her as I did uh, take a selfie with most of the stand holders I bought something at, but I kind of was intimidated. I don't know. Uh, I really don't don't get it because she was she's so sweet. But yeah, <laughs> I was intimidated. So yeah, but um, her yarn was amazing, and she had these spinning bats. She had these bats. Um, I think they are 80, 70, or eighty grams and some mini bats um, and then she had hand dyed yarn as well um, and some other stuff I think maybe some mini mini weaving things to, to uh, make yourself to weave yourself a necklace I think so but yes I'm really really pleased with this purchase uh, it looks a lot like one of the bats I had bought last year from Dutch Wool Diva, but I loved it. 
and I, I spun it all. So, yeah, I thought, why change your winning team, right? And it still is a little bit different. This one has more blue. Yes, and more orange. Love it! This one I also got on the first day. Um, it's hand dyed yarn by Truly Hooked. I don't know the name of the shopkeeper. I got this one. Um, I think it actually was the very first yarn I bought at Yarndale. Um, I was looking at her stand. There were a lot of colors. But somehow my eyes just locked in on this one and like I need to have it because look at it so pretty and it's called unicorn on her standard sock base which is 75 superwash merino uh, 75 percent I mean superwash merino 25 percent nylon 225 meters per hundred grams so that's pretty standard um, but the colors aren't standard and I love it yes love it love it and I'm thinking to just make socks with these as I don't really have uh, over the top socks like this yet but we'll see then and this is something about on day two fine fish yarns um, I was so excited to get to see fine fish yarns and to meet Terry who's the hand dyer she's amazing um, and she had a sample of a different colorway uh, knit up in a sock and it was kind of micro striping and I loved it so I asked Terry um, if she knew of any other colorways that didn't have the same effect so um, I don't think she had really thought about that question before because she was like oh god how do that do how do I answer this uh, but so she pointed me to a couple of uh, colorways which were dyed in this with the same so I think I think that this may end up micro striping as well it's called Royal and it's on our superwash merino and nylon sock um, yes and I just love her label okay so the, <laughs> I think I have to adjust the blinds because the light is getting closer and closer so have a look at the label that's really really cute there is a hammerhead shark a manta ray or a diff different ray I don't know a mermaid and I got a matching zipper pouch of this one a puffer fish and a seahorse so cute fine fish yarns I love the brush lettering as well and I'm gonna get that pouch to show you I love it so actually I grabbed this one first and then I was like okay I need some yarn as well so I got this yeah mm, so happy with it and I was so pleased because um, a lot of other podcasters um, they always say oh I have too many skeins uh, too many single skeins of sock yarn and I don't so <laughs> uh, so that was my excuse to go out and buy a couple of single skeins because I don't I have a couple of um, single ply yarns, uh, which I've already, which I already have a project for, and I have some self striping yarns, which of course they need to be uh, striped in stranded socks. Um, but I didn't have single skeins of sock yarn, so I had an excuse to buy some. Oh yes, this one or these, this little bundle. Uh, I bought at the stand of Rauwerk. Rauwerk. I think it was a German stand. Uh, and Nikki was there. Clara Pegatti on Instagram. It's so lovely to meet you, Nikki. Oh, I am just so, so pleased. And uh, Nikki was helping out at the stand of Rauwerk. 
Um, and this is a bundle of naturally dyed wool. So of course I was, you know, like a magnet. I was onto this stuff. Um, it's called Billesberger Bayerisch uh, Biologisch Guad. What? <laughs> so Billesberger. Regionale Schafwolle. So local sheep's wool. 100 grams in total. And oh, there's there's a, like a whole story on the back. Didn't see that yet. And here, Bayerische Schafwolle, gewaschen und gesponnen in Tirol. So it's it's washed and spun in Tirol. And um, they are, as I said, naturally dyed. Um, this is onion skins. Does it say which onion skins? Yeah, red onion skins. Matter. Very familiar color. And then there are two. And it says indigo. So I think this one is the indigo, but it could also be this one. You can get this color with indigo. And blauholz, which is like blue wood. So... Those two will have made these two, I'm pretty sure. Yay! So with these, I am planning to make a little fair hile at, at, hat. I'm doing the Amy thing now. Do you think it will work? I think so. And I have some of my own matter dyed yarn. Uh, which I'm wanting to use for some mittens so those will match perfectly I think maybe I will even have some yarn left to do a little contrast row in the mitten just to pull it all together and I think that will be really really cute okay let's just take one from the top again so this is snuggly stars yarn And this one, I had my eye on on day one, so on this Saturday. But all my money was already gone. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, I'll just uh, leave it. Uh, although I really liked it. And then the next day, so I went to get more money. <laughs> and then I went by the stand again of Snuggly Stars Yarn, and it was still there! Eee! And I, I was so pleased because... Well, her yarn wasn't expensive, but this was in the sales basket. I just love this. And I especially love the yellow. I am not able to really wear yellow um, on its own, but in um, with like mauve and purple and pink like this, I think it will work. And I'm planning to do a hat again. I think it will work. But I'm not sure if I will just use this or if I will use a white contrast color and do two color brioche. Maybe? I don't know. I, I Perhaps I should do it. Yes, perhaps I should. But um, I'm kind of hesitant to try brioche for hats because I think they would be enormous and I have a tiny head so yeah I would have to figure out what size to use but yeah I think that will be a lot of fun at I really like brioche I tried it in the Stephen West mystery knit along last year and by the way the mystery knit along of this year is almost starting and I'm not participating but uh, famous last words. No, I'm not participating, but I'm really, really excited to see. All right. And then I saw these. Aren't they the cutest? They are felted animal heads, which could be creepy, but I think it isn't. And this one I bought for me will go on my sweater. And this one I bought for my boyfriend's mom. She's a big fan of like Peter the Rabbit and 
all kinds of cute animals so I thought I thought she would like this so up next Koopnitz Soxia I had totally forgot that Koopnitz was gonna be there but I was really excited to see their stand because um, they have um, the best colors and it matches or it goes really well with the self-striping yarn that I had already bought for some striped and stranded socks. I knew I needed blue, but I didn't really picture, I couldn't really picture the yarn I had uh, well, well enough to be able to pick a contrast color. And I was trying to pull up a picture on my Instagram, but Wi-Fi, or they didn't have Wi-Fi, but uh, internet reception was terrible at Yarndale and all of the shopkeepers were having trouble with their um, um, card machines as well so that wasn't too pleasant for them I guess but yeah so I just had to get two they are 50 gram skeins and they were like six pounds which is really good value um, yeah so I got two don't know if they have color or names oh they do I don't know how to pronounce it though. So this is 111 Benny Twat and this is 120 called Azurite. Yes, really really good. <laughs> I don't know if I should show you this one with my Yarndale haul because she wasn't there. So, <laughs> but I got some wool and vine. Yes, um, one of the Scapius bloggers, uh, well actually two, uh, are from the USA and I asked one to be my yarn mule. <laughs> so I ordered some full and fine yarns to get sent to her address in the States and then she brought it back for me. And it's so beautiful. It's mauve, of course and also a little bit of yellow oh. oh and some blue spots as well it's so pretty it kind of when I describe it mauve and yellow makes me think of this one but it is totally different yes <laughs> it is. it's not just an excuse and there's also some brown in here and some olive green. I love pink and olive green together. And it's called Indoorsy. Um, and Indoorsy is really a word that could describe me. Um, I, <laughs> I love staying indoors. I don't like going outside. I don't really like people <laughs> I just want to stay inside and knit and eat yeah so indoorsy and it's on her footsie base which is 80% superwash blue face luster 20% nylon and yeah it's two ply sock beautiful I'm so so pleased that I finally got my hands on this and I feel kind of bad for showing this in this in the Yarndale vlog, but it, because it's not a Yarndale purchase, but for me it's Yarndale stash because I got it in the same weekend. Um, so beautiful. <sighs> yes, I actually I had given up on getting a skein of full and fine because it's always so difficult to catch your updates, especially for Europeans since. Usually during her updates, it's four in the morning right here. Um, but then um, I had already asked my my friend if she was willing to uh, take some yarn from the U.S. to here. Um, and then I saw that Full and Fine had an update, uh, and. And I would be able to, to catch it so I was so excited and then I set my alarm 
for I always do it five minutes earlier than the than the update is actually scheduled and then I just go to the website and I hit refresh all the time and with some so I'm gonna give you some tips here so with some indie dyers and also with full on vine so they have this thing where you have to set up an account on their website on their web shop in order to check out so and you can do that before the update is live so go ahead and do that and then you will be all set when the update is live and you can just click 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 done and that's what i did yeah so that's my catching update tip on Vulan vine and on ushitita i did that for her as well um so excited and this looks like a shawl yarn to me I know it's a perfect sock yarn but I cannot bear to have this on my feet yes it would be blasphemy <laughs> so I am going to combine this in a shawl I think yes and now for my favorite purchase at Yarndale I went to Beehive Yarns and I got, okay, let me show you. I got two skeins of DK weight yarn. One is Rose Licken, so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's, you know, I feel like I have a theme with my yarn purchases lately and with my makes. I do a lot of mauve and green so this one and then I have bought some other yarn uh, before that was also shades of mauve pink purple and green so this one and now this one um, and I had my oak yellow sweater on which is shades of purple and I had my olive green coat on top of that the best <laughs> um, and this one also has little spots of green here and there and my nails as well see so every purchase that I made has matched my nails so this is Rose Licken on her dolly base which is a DK 100% superwash merino 20 no 225 meters Perfect. And then another skein of Dolly DK. Take the A train, this one is called. And you can see again with the mauve and the green. Love it. Love it. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. And I'm going to do. A little bit of wool jewel right here so I'm going to combine these two skeins um, different colorways I'm going to combine them in one sweater with one main color that ties it together and uh, Caitlin from wool jewel has done that before and it turned out amazing so I'm going to try that and I bought the main color for the sweater that I'm thinking of so I'll show you in a bit and then at Beehive Yarns, uh, so I forgot to mention the name of the dyer is Beth, and she is so sweet, and her mom was there, so sweet. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was just amazing. And so she gave me her card, which is Bees, and then Beehive here on the other side. Um, and I got this set of minis as well, and you may recognize this one because it's the same colorway, and this one because it's the same colorway as this one. Yeah, so, and these are. Rose Licken and Take the A-Train, as I just showed you, and then Sandpiper, which I think is this one, Cassis, and Blackberry Lips, which should be 
these two. Don't know which ones. So this is in total um, 100 grams. So these would make super fun socks. And I think I am going to knit socks with them. I might go and look in my stash and add a couple of similar hues, hues to this, similar yarns, so I can make even scrappier socks. Yes, but they are so cute. And yeah, really, really like these. I loved Beehive yarns and her aesthetic was so great and uh, because she's in the UK I can get yarns from her easily without having to pay a lot of um, shipping on it that is until Brexit happens and who knows what that will do but until then this yarn is really easy to get from UK to Europe so yeah have a look at that beehive yarns Okay, and now, <laughs> so I had, I was actually done. I thought I was done with all of my yarn purchases. And then the stall actually kind of opposite Scapius where I was at, I saw, I saw the sign, two bags for 20 pounds, which is about 23 euros, I think. Um, and each bag held five DK skeins. So that is 10 DK skeins for 20 pounds. And let me show you. This was in <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, five of these, <laughs> not gonna pick them up right now. Five of these were in one bag. They are from Worth Mill Yarns. It's Saddleworth and it's a beautiful uh, like dusky mint, dusky blue color. Uh, it's called Summer Storm. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the tag um, what the yarn is but it was 100% wool. I saw that on the stand and it was uh, it is a DK and I believe it was 210 meters, uh, the lady said. Um, so yes, I got these, that was one bag. And then I got, <laughs> this is impossible. Okay, I'm just gonna show you three, but I have five as well of this burgundy color. It looks really, really dark. But it is burgundy, like a super dark red wine color. It is called burgundy, uh, the shade number, uh, the shade color. Also from Wart Mill Yarns, Saddleworth. And it feels, it feels very rough. And it's spun in a really weird way. So I'm not sure because, okay, it was super cheap, so it must be something like maybe this is recycled wool or, well, if it was, I would advertise it like crazy because people love uh, recycled stuff. So it may be recycled wool or it may be like, like wool, like scraps and then remade into yarn because looking at the ply it is it is very loosely plied no or is it chains it's so weird it's very weird i um it seems like they that is a two ply and it's very loosely plied like very lazily plied if if you know what i mean I can try to show you, but I'm not sure if that would, if that would show. Okay, so it's a, it's a four, four ply actually, but I don't know if you can see that. So 
So it's, yeah, it's kind of a loose ply. So, but it is four ply. Yeah, it isn't spun really tightly, so. Yeah. So I don't know what's the deal with this yarn, but it feels okay. It doesn't feel too rough. It might be too rough for others, but I can I can take it, especially because this is the color that I want to combine with this one from Beehive Yarns. It would be amazing for a color work sweater. And I will use these, which are super wash, along the neck. Uh, which I have done for my oak yellow sweater as well. The main color I used was kind of rough, kind of rustic, but um, but I used super wash yarns or at least softer yarns uh, at the neck and at the wrists. Um, and that was really nice. And I think I'm going to do the same thing as well. So this, it doesn't feel too rough for me, but still I'm going to avoid it. I avoid using it around the neck. And yeah, use it as the base color. So now I have to find a DK color work sweater pattern. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, please let me know because it would be amazing. So I have two DK skeins and I really want to use a lot of that. But if it's just a little color work, I might be able to like modify it myself so that I use that I do two repeats or whatever but I would like to have a big section of color and I will be using these as one color so um, so because I don't want to be alternating these two because I don't think that would uh, give enough contrast so I want a sweater that um, in the original one they only have two different colors and then I will use this one as the contrast color and this one as the main color and I think that would really look amazing yes okay so that was it I think I think it was a lot, I know, but I regret nothing and I would do it again in a heartbeat just because we don't have this kind of craft fair in the Netherlands and I, this was the very first craft fair that I thought, oh my goodness, I want everything. Usually at Dutch craft fairs, um, there are a lot of commercially, um, commercial yarns which uh, but I can get them online and um, it doesn't have the added value for me to get them at craft fairs while for indie dyed yarns they may have um, um, like limited editions or uh, it will look different anyway and usually they sell out uh, a lot online um, and I do get that, okay, we were with uh, Scapius at Yarndale and a lot of people were excited to see us because Scapius uh, is not um, available that much in, in the UK, um, usually only online. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult to find it in stores in the UK. So uh, a lot of people were excited to see Scapius, um, which was amazing and uh, because they are great yarns and I, they have great value and I want people to be able to work with them. And now they have seen, seen all the colors, uh, felt the yarn and yes, um, that's, you know, that's just great. Um, but for, for uh, Dutch craft fairs, I feel like there are uh, more commercial yarns than indie dyed yarns. And at Yarndale, it was the opposite, and it was so, so great. Yeah, so I just went all out. <laughs> I 
and I do not regret one bit and I'm going to have so much fun knitting and crocheting with all of these yarns and yeah I hope I'm sorry I'm touching my hair so much today it's just like I'm looking at it and I'm like it's not right um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this journey with me to Yarndale uh, I know I got a lot of new followers um, during Yarndale, uh, not only from meeting people, but also uh, because they found me via the Yarndale hashtag, and it was so much fun, and I hope you stick around and watch a podcast episode or two, or three or more, <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, I had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to go again next year, I hope we are going again, and um, I am planning to go to Edinburgh Yarn Fest as well in March. So if you're planning to go, send me a message and uh, we can meet up. Um, yes, very excited. And I have, I'm still um, recuperating, recovering from Yarndale. I have taken three days off work. Yes or in order to recover. I slept so much in these three days. It's just, yarn deal was so exhausting. Well, and the Scapies Blogger days that we had before, you know, it's all super, super exciting and, and nice and amazing, but it drains the energy out of you. Uh, it also gives a lot of energy back uh, I'm feeling very just high on not only adrenaline, adrenaline, but also inspiration and just the positive energy that I got from a lot of people. And um, I hope I gave some back to you. Um, yes, and I just can't wait for next time. And. Yeah, thank you all so much to the people who came up and said hi. Um, I loved meeting people who uh, saw the podcast and yeah, it was just surreal. I felt like a superstar for two days. It was really, really surreal. Um, and I got to meet so many amazing people like Kat Golden, oh my god, and Lucy from Attic24 and Janie Crow. Ugh, I was so starstruck all weekend. And I met Eleanor from Knit Nottingham. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Super, super starstruck, fangirling all the time. But I wouldn't have it any other way. It was amazing. Yes. And thank you um, if you were part of that in any way. So yeah, I think it's time to make an end <laughs> to this um, to this Yarndale vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps promote the channel. Please subscribe if you want to. And if you really want to support me, have a look at my Patreon page. Um, for more sneak peeks, exclusive tutorial videos, and lots of discount codes and patterns. Um, yes, so thank you a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoy, and I hope to see you next time.